Hello friends, this presentation is about iterative construct in Java and nested loop. It is taken from class 10th book computer application, chapter number 1, unit 8 and 9. It has following topics, entry control loop, exit control loop, nested for loop, nested while loop and nested do while loop. Let us discuss all entry control loop and exit control loop one by one. Before we start learning loop, we'll find out what is a block. A block is a group of statements. When a block of statement get executed again and again, unless a task has been completed, such repetitive construct is called a loop. What is iteration? Repeated execution of set of statement is called iteration. It can be achieved by using a loop. Looping construct can be divided into two parts. Number one, entry control loop and number two is exit control loop. What is entry control loop? In this, the condition is checked in a beginning. If the condition is true, the loop will continue or loop will be executed. Otherwise, the loop will not execute it. There are two entry control loops. One is for loop and second is while loop. First of all, we discussed with for loop. When the number of iteration is fixed, it's also anti control loop. When the number of iteration is fixed, that is how many times the loop will be executed, that is fixed. It is called fixed loop. Syntax is for initial value, test condition, increment or decrement. Example for int a is equal to 1, a lesson is equal to 10, a plus plus. It has following five steps. Step 1, initializing the value int a is a 1, it is initializing value, second is condition is checked, that is a is less than is equal to 10. If the condition is true, the loop will execute. In the first attempt, the value of a is 1, we will check 1 is less than 10, yes, the loop continued, it will just do the part which is given in the block of the statements. Number 4 is updation, if the condition is true the loop will continue as 1 is less than 10 yes it will go for executing the part which is given in the block and the value of a is updated after the value of a is being updated condition is again checked that is 2 2 is less than 10 yes the loop continue 3 is less than 10 yes the loop continue it will continue till the a value become 10 again it go for 10 10 is less than equal to 10 yes it is still true it will execute Again, the increment of a is given, that is 11. And now 11 is less than is equal to 10. No, condition becomes false and the control will come out of the loop. That means if the condition is false, then step 4 and 5 will not execute and the control will come out of the loop. This is called for loop. While loop. While loop is also an entry control loop. This loop is used to execute one or more statements till the condition is true and the loop terminates when the condition becomes false. It is also called entry controlled loop as the condition is checked in the beginning. If the condition is false, the loop terminates and executes those statement given out of the while loop. It is also called unfixed loop. Given syntax, starting value of for loop, while test condition, statement 1, statement 2. The condition is checked in the beginning of while loop. If the condition is true, the loop executes. If the condition becomes false, once the condition is false, even if even in the beginning of the loop, if the condition is false, the loop will not execute. Here is an example of while loop. Int a is equal to 0 while a less than is equal to 5. a plus plus system dot out dot print ln a. The while loop is closed system.out.println out of while loop plus a and below is the output of this segment. Let us discuss now. Initial value of a is 0. 0 is less than is equal to 5. Condition is true. a will get increment of 1 a plus plus. The value of a is now 1. It will display 1 on the screen. 1 is less than is equal to 5. Yes, condition is true. a get increment value becomes 2. 2 is displayed. Condition is again checked. 2 is less than is equal to 5, yes. 2 plus 1, 3. Value of A become 3. 3 is displayed. 
3 is less than is equal to 5 yes condition is still true a will get increment of 1 and the value of a become 4 4 is displayed on the screen 4 is less than is equal to 5 condition is still true it will get the increment of a that becomes 5 display 5 on the screen 5 is less than is equal to 5 it is equal to 5 condition is still true increment of a is given to 6 it will display 6 on the screen now the condition is checked 6 is less than is equal to 5 condition becomes false control will come out of the while loop and display the statement out of while loop the display value of 6 is a is 6 so it will display out of while loop 6 that is the output of this segment we will understand that if the condition is true the loop will continue once the condition become false the control will come out of this loop and give the, give the message which is given out of the while loop one another example of while loop is given below int a is equal to 6 while a less than is equal to 5 a plus plus system dot out print ln a out of the loop system dot out print ln out of the while loop a in this condition the initial value of a is 6 a less than equal to 5 no condition is false in the beginning and while loop is entry control loop condition is false in the beginning the control will come out of the loop and it will display the statement out of while loop the value of a is 6 this is the execution of while loop do while loop it is exit control loop this loop is used to execute one or more statement till the condition is true and the loop terminates when the condition becomes false it is also called exit control loop as the condition or the control enters into the loop without checking any condition and the condition is checked at the exit point that is why this loop is known as exit control loop let us understand do while with example int a equals to 0 do a plus plus system dot out dot print ln a while a less than is equal to 4 system dot out dot print ln out of the do while a see the execution of the program initial value of a is 0 by taking the value a 0 the program executing the a plus plus a plus plus means the value of a changed to 1 and it will display 1 on the screen 1 is less than is equal to 4 yes condition is true again the cont loop continued a value become 2 displaying 2 2 is less than is equal to 4 yes again the loop continue a value become 3 it will display 3 on the screen check the condition 3 is less than is equal to 4 yes it will go and executing loop again a value become 4 displaying 4 4 is less than is equal to 4 yes loop continued and the value of a is changed to 5 it will display 5 on the screen 5 is less than is equal to 4 no condition becomes false now it will go out of the loop and display the message out of the do while the value of a is 5 this is the execution of do while loop as the condition is checked at the last it is called exit control loop let us take another example of do while loop int a is equal to 3 2 a plus plus System dot order print ln a while a less than is equal to 2. Here the loop is over. System dot order print ln out of while loop plus a. This is the segment of the program explaining do while. Blow is given the output of this segment. Let us discuss now. Initial value of a is 3. The increment is given to a in the loop. a become 4. 4 value is displayed. Condition is checked. 4 is less than is equal to 2. It is false. Now the control is come out of the loop and display the statement out of while loop 4. We will see in this part when the condition is checked at the last still the value of a is get incremented and displaying the value of a. The condition is checked after the loop is executing one time even if the condition is false. So this is called exit control loop and the condition is checked at the last. Difference between while and do while loop. While is entry controlled loop do while is exit control loop another difference is in while loop the loop will not execute once if the condition is false as the condition is checked before entering into the loop that means in the beginning itself the condition is checked that is why if the condition is false the loop will not execute even once in do while loop the loop will execute at least once even if the condition is false 
as the condition is checked at the exit point of the loop in do by loop as the condition is checked at the last even if the condition is false the loop get execute one time this is the difference between while and do by loop jumping statements there are three jumping statements in java number 1 break number 2 continue and number 3 return in this presentation we will discuss the very first two that is break and continue and return statement we will discuss later break statement is also jumping statement it is used to terminate the execution of current loop and comes out of the loop that is it breaks the current loop example is given below x is equal to 1 x less than is equal to 5 x plus plus when the value of x is equal to 3 then break that means it will display the value of x as 1 x as 2 when the value of x becomes 3 the control will come out of this loop and further execution is not done below shows the part which is showing break statement in for loop in while loop and do while loop when the value of i is reached to 5 the cursor will come out of this uh, loop further updation is not done in s similar the, with the case of while and do while is there that means when the break statement is encounter further execution is stopped there continue statement this statement is also a jumping statement it is used to skip the particular iteration when the condition is checked if the condition is satisfied the particular iteration is skipped showing the example that is x is equal to 1 x less than is equal to 5 x plus plus we'll see when the value of x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4 this particular both the iterations are skipped so the output is x value equals to 1 x value is equal to 3 and x value is equal to 5 in the bottom part of the slide we'll see the continue statement is used with for loop with while loop and with do while loop when the value of i is equals to 5 continue that means this particular iteration is skipped remaining all statements that means i is equal to 1 i is equal to 2 i 3 i 4 and i 6 i value 7 i 8 i 9 and i 10 all values are being added to s so we'll see similarly done in with while loop as well as with do while loop some important terms after learning loops number 1 finite loop a finite loop has natural termination that is called finite loop or fixed loop if the number of iteration is fixed that is called finite loop number 2 in finite loop if the number of iteration that means how many time the loop will execute is not fixed that is called infinite loop and the third part is empty loop or null loop when the body of the loop is skipped that is called empty loop or null loop and delay loop is a loop which perform which do not perform any meaningful operation but it is used to create delay suppose i will write to the program for i is equal to 1 i less than is equal to 1000 i plus plus and in the body of the loop i'll only use use the curly braces that is body of the loop is skipped that loop will execute 1000 time but will not show any output on the screen that is called delay loop after learning the jumping statement that is break and continue let us see how the segment is changed from for loop to while loop for loop has three parts p is equal to 1 p less than is equal to 5 p plus plus that is initialization number 2 is a test condition and number 3 is updation these three is the three segments are written or these three part of the for loop are written in while loop before the condition we write initialization that is p is equal to 1 in the while loop we use a statement p less than is equal to 5 that is test condition an updation that is p++ is written in between the loop of while loop next is converting while loop to do while loop it has three parts number 1 initialization same it is to be done in do while loop also while p lesson is equal to 5 is condition that is to be written in the last as uh, while is entry control loop and do while is exit control loop and p++ is same as written in while loop as well as in do while loop that means updation is done at the same place further we convert for loop to do while loop let us see we know that uh, every loop has three parts initialization is done in the beginning p is equal to 1 it is also done before the do that is p is equal to 1 condition is checked inside the for loop that is done at the last in the do while loop 
and updation is done in the for loop where p plus plus that is updation is done in between the do while loop. This is the next part of the chapter that is nested loop. When one loop is inside the another loop, it is called nested loop. Here is one segment shown you on the right hand side of the screen. We'll see it is a outer loop, start of the outer loop, then start of the inner loop. In between the statements are written. Then it is the end of the inner loop, and at last we have the end of outer loop. Let us see the rules of nested loop. The inner loop is executed and then the outer loop is executed. First of all, we will execute the inner loop and after the inner loop is executed, outer loop will be executed. Outer loop will execute, will start first and finish afterwards. This is the rule. We start with outer loop and finishes outer loop afterwards when the inner loop is over. Inner loop will start after the outer loop but finishes first. First of all, outer loop is started, then inner loop is started. Then inner loop will be over and finishes and then the outer loop is finishes. Like that it works. The inner loop repeats a number of time for each repetition of the outer loop. Every time the inner loop is executed again and again till we reach the last iteration of outer loop. Types of nested loop. There are three types of nested loop. Nested for loop, nested while loop and nested do while loop. In the further slides, we will learn all three types of nested loop. Let us begin with nested for loop. When a for loop is used within another for loop, it is called nested loop. A program is given in front of you. We have two loops together. One is the outer loop that is A and the second is the inner loop that is B. A is equal to 1, A less than is equal to 5, A plus plus that is the outer loop. And the next one is the inner loop b is equal to 1, b less than is equal to a and b plus plus. It is written over here j plus plus that is wrong. It should be b plus plus. We will see that in this program the loop will continue outer, from the outer loop a value is 1. After taking the value of a it goes to taking the value of b that is b value is also 1. And b will go and display the value of b only one time as the value of a is also 1. Then a value become 2, b value change 2, b will go up to 2, it works 2 times and it will display the value of b as 1 and 2. Third time a value become 3, the value, the loop, inner loop will go 3 times, it will go to display 1, 2 and 3. Similar with the case of 4 and 5 and it is displaying the pattern which is shown on the right hand side of the screen. Nested while loop, when a while loop is used within another while loop, it is called nested while loop. Example is given, a is equal to 1 is a outer loop, a less than is equal to 5, the value of a is less than is equal to 5, true, b is equal to 1, it is an inner loop now, 1 is less than is equal to 1, yes it is equal to 1, so it will display the value of a, b as 1 and uh, it is taking the increment of b as 2, b plus plus, cursor goes to the outer part that is by taking uh, system dot order printer and command and the cursor goes to the next line give the increment of a as 2 and now the value of a is 2 2 less than is equal to 5 condition is true again the inner loop start with 1 the loop will continue and display the value of 1 and 2 similarly the loop keep on going by increasing the value in a now at last when the value of a becomes 5 let us see with the 5 5 less than is equal to 5 yes condition is again true but b is again 1 the loop will go 5 times and display the value of b as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now the value of b becomes 6. Cursor goes to the next line. Now a value becomes 6. Outer loop is there. Outer loop means check the value condition. C a less than is equal to 5. That is 6 less than is equal to 5. Condition becomes false. Now the control will come out of this outer loop also. Nested do while loop. When one do while loop is used with another do while loop, it is called a nested do while loop. Let us see by example, initial value of A is 1, that is the outer loop, 2. Now the inner loop starts by taking the value B as 1, 2. System dot outward print, print B, it will display the value of B on the screen, P++. The value of B is being changed for the next time. Condition is checked, B less than is equal to A, that is B means 2, less than is equal to A, that is 1, condition is false. Cursor goes to the next line by the statement system.outwardprintln. 
and a plus plus the value of a is changed to now two by taking the value of two that means it is check the value of a as five that is where two is less than is equal to five yes condition is true two is less than is equal to five again the loop continue b again start with one that is the inner loop displaying the value of b as one and two because b starts with one and getting the increment of three that means every time the value of b is changed with the one value and at last we see the value of a is being changed when the value of a becomes five five is less than is equal to five yes condition is true again go for taking the value of b as one displaying the value of b as one two three four five b value becomes six condition is checked for the inner loop six is less than is equal to five condition becomes fall control will come out of the loop and the value of a is changed to six condition is checked six is less than is equal to five no condition is false now the control will come out of the outer loop also break statement used in nested loop this statement is used for unusual termination of a block as soon as the break statement is smoke the control will come out of the block by ignoring rest of the statements the break statement can be used in the inner loop as well as the outer loop first example is how the break statement is used in outer loop here is example value of i is 1 i less than is equal to 5 i plus plus similarly inner loop starts with 1 that is j is 1 j less than is equal to 3 j plus plus system dot outer print ln i into j that means 1 into 1 the output is 1 and uh, the next value will be 2 j value is 2 2 into 1 again 2 3 into 1 that is again 3 the i value is 1 and j value become 3 total is 3 there and we'll check will come from the inner loop we'll check the value of i i that is 1 1 is greater than 2 no that means it will just display only the star break statement is not used next time the value of i become 2 now we'll see it will show the value 2 into 1 2 2 into 2 4 2 into 3 6 and we'll check will come out of the outer loop that is after finishing the inner loop the value of i is again checked 2 is greater than 2 no it will not encounter with break statement again the stars are displayed on the screen now i value become 3 3 into 1 3 3 into 2 6 3 into 3 9 this is to be displayed on the screen now we are coming out of this loop and the value of i is now 3 3 is greater than 2 yes 3 is greater than 2 now the control will encounter with break statement and it will come out of the outer loop this is the execution of this segment here is a, a use of break statement in another loop let us see how it works int i comma j the value of i is 1 j is also 1 then we'll check the value of i into i 1 is greater than 8 no then 2 is greater than 8 no 3 is greater than 8 no break statement is not encounter i value become 2 2 into 1 2 is not greater than 8 2 2 is a 4 is not greater than 8 2 3 is a 6 is not greater than 8 break statement is not encounter then i value become 3 3 into 1 That is three in greater than eight. No, three to the six is greater than eight. No, three into three nine is greater than eight. Yes, break statement is in counter. I value become four. Four into one four is greater than eight. No, four to the eight is greater than eight. No, four to the twelve is greater than eight. Yes, so break statement is in counter. Next is the I value become five. Five is greater than eight. No, five is five into two. That is ten is greater than eight. Yes, here the break statement is in counter, and the cursor will come out of inner loop to the outer loop. Let us see the output now showing here as when the value of i is five and j is two, it is ten. In the previous slide we have seen that when we come out of the inner loop, it directly goes to the outer loop. But label break statement is used to come out of inner loop, and it will not the control will not come to the outer loop. Rather, it will come out of inner as well as outer loop. See the example given here. The i value is one, j is also one. We'll see the definition first of all. Label break statement is used to terminate the control 
from the inner loop and it can directly come from inner loop and comes out of the outer loop also the termination of outer loop from the block of inner loop can be done by using keyword break along with the label name here the label name is given as outer the value of i is 1 j is also 1 1 into 1 is 1 1 equals to 1, 2 no now then in the next iteration of j j value become 2 2 is equal to 2 yes now we see the break outer statement is in counter now the cursor will come out of break statement that will come out of the inner loop as well as the outer loop we'll use a label keyword before the outer before that loop from where we want to come out this is continuous statement it is also a jumping statement as soon as the control reaches to continue it takes the control to the next iteration by ignoring rest of the statements uh, see the example given below outer value i is 1 j is also 1 1 into 1 1 is greater than 10 no 2 is greater than 10 no 3 is greater than 10 no i value become 2 is greater than 10 no 2 to the 4 is greater than 10 no 2 to the 6 is greater than 10 no i value become 3 is greater than 10 no 3 to the 6 is greater than 10 no 3 3 is a 9 is greater than 10 no next part is 4 that is i value become 4 4 is greater than 10 no 4 to the 8 8 is greater than 10 no 4 is a 12 is greater than 10 yes this step is ignored by a continuous statement now the i value become 5 5 into 1 5 is greater than 10 no 5 to the 10 is greater than 10 no 5 to the 15 yes 5 15 is greater than 10 yes so this continuous statement is encounter and it will go for taking the next iteration that is of the inner loop so we see when we use the continuous statement it, it immediately takes the control to the next iteration of the inner loop by ignoring the remaining statement of the continuous statement is used in outer loop we'll see when we use the continuous statement the remaining part of the inner loop is being being ignored see the example when continue is used in the outer loop then the control returns to the next iteration by ignoring rest part of the statement given below the example i is 1 by taking the y, y value as 1 in a loop will execute it will display 1 2 and 3 now i value become 2 it will check the condition condition is satisfied it will not display the value by taking the value of j rather it will go for taking the i value as 3 that is it will display 3 into 1 3 6 and 9 4 8 and 12 and then i value become 5 5 10 and 15 all these values are displayed when the value of i is 2 that uh, inner part will be executed is not executed that is ignored by continuous labeled continuous statement is a situations where you can skip the iteration of inner loop this task can be done by using keyword continue outer in the inner loop by ignoring the rest of the statement when we see this segment we'll see when the value of i is 1 3 and 5 the printing statement is displayed that is for i it will display 1 2 3 for 3 it will display 3 6 9 for 5 it will display 5 10 and 15 when the value of i is 2 or 4 the continuous statement is encountered and the cursor will come out of this inner loop and it just directly goes to the outer loop. At the end of this presentation, we have assignment. Do the equations. What is a nested loop? Write the syntax of a nested for loop. Third is, what action will you take to terminate an outer loop from the block of an inner loop? If the difference between break and continuous statement and the last question is write down the syntax of nested do while loop and nested while loop. Thank you.